Oh right, we didn't finish. We didn't fully finish it. Stop. <laughs> it may seem sure, but it's a horror. Yeah, we never. We never welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Crew. Oh hey, welcome back. I hate my life. I want to die. Uh, second one. Second, it's later. I mean, there's only Yuri and Monica. Right, yeah, there's only Yuri and Monica at this point. Because, uh, randomly, uh, uh, stuff uh, happened. Natsuki had become a demon. For some odd reason. Heck. <sighs> no, Yuri became a demon and came close up. No, Natsuki- She came close let me look at you. She was cutting herself in the hallway. Yes, I know, I remember. <coughs> Yuri became a lot more open. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to click that, whatever. <coughs> oh, it's gonna be sick, Yuri. Ah! Finally. Uh huh. Yuri holds up my holds my phone to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. <laughs> well. Or just like, I love it. I love everything about it. You are really weird. Dakota, I wanna take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Uh-huh. You're too nice to me, Dakota. I've never met anyone as nice as you. You're acting a... I could die. Not really, but... Bullshit. I just know how to... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? You're obsessed with... She's the yandere! <laughs> it's not bad, right? Here, hold my phone to her chest. Ah, what more voice cracks are happening with this voice. Hooray. Oh! <coughs> oh, that helped. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good. When, makes you good feel. Ah, excuse makes me. Makes you feel good when you think about me having it. <laughs> I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts up. No. <laughs> no. Just, just, just no. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! I can't read kanji. <laughs> wait, no, that is... No. Wait, I think those are actual readable words. No. If they are, oh. they're very, very hard to read. Uh, let me think. I think a lot of it is kanji. No, none of it is kanji, it's just letters scribbled really, really badly. Uh, you can't see me, but right now I'm going up to the screen like a paleontologist or something. Why isn't the paper moving? I mean, you know, whatever. Back or that's just the Go to the bottom. Back up. Yeah, I can't read any of it. Go back up. If there are words that you can read, they're they're very hard to read. I see I see race. Parasite. Uh. Uh. All right, whatever. Yeah, this is this that's super weird. Hi. Oh, like that. That's what happened before. This did, uh, did you like it? Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about. <laughs> More importantly, I've been donating with my son. Seeing I the most thoughtful person in the club. Uh huh. I. I think I'm going to vomit. And I'm not shocked by that at all? No reaction from me? That's not her fault. Yeah, I know it's Monica's fault. Sorry, it's Bakachi's fault. You said Monica! Fuck you! You know what? I can try to do Monica if you don't want to voice her. <clears throat> Dakota? That just means I'll have to do three voices. You want to do Monica still? You have. I don't think Natsuki's gonna be in here okay, anymore. Okay, okay. Just keep going. Dakota, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. That's a little bit better. That's about a lot better for an actual girl's voice. I didn't want you to. I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. 
I think that voice is developed from you hearing Trevor do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, though. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when no, she's around no more, you. No more of that. It's Sorry. It's only great with Trevor. <laughs> it was only with Trevor. It shouldn't be a problem in, its, a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yes. Why are you so I'm calm a, about this, Bakachi? I'm a little messed up. I can't do it high enough. None of us can scream. <clears throat> right now. Ah, I can't. I, if I ah! Close enough. That's good enough. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I'll put a collection Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Bullshit! I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. The point is, you're, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. Yes, girl lightly. with only cute pose in the game. That is the pose of a demon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hang on, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. A chew. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? One of those is real. Guess which one? To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Only Natsuki okay is the is the one who Natsuki's uh, the only one who is who is who is right here. She's the only one who isn't fucked up. Ha ha ha! You ha, push ha, the button. I press that button. Anyway, I guess you've been worried about your poem. You should have at least have uh, should have uh, should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. Makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here it goes. That's what I expected. Okay, I can read this po What? What? Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Yes or no? No. Hi. Hello, Monica. <laughs> well, what about if I said yes? Back to the beginning. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's try and get this over with. <sighs> okay, she'll see Joseph here again. Stagnating <laughs> error. I'm in foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Wait, are we seriously back to the What? Back to this part, at least. It's Groundhog Day! Anime edition! Just read. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing out something all poetry pamphlets. Actually, you can make cupcakes, and they're at least good at that. Hmm. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not used to this, you know? I, I know that. I already know the, what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. Alright, everything seems to be going okay. So many make decorations and set, and set some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Dakota? I'll go with Natsuki. <coughs> I don't get a choice. No. Dakota's going to help me. Wait, you... You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Hold on, I need to warm up. I am Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay. The ultimate life form. I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Pulling it closer because I'm far away from the microphone. <laughs> what are your cup? What your cupcakes? Please. Like you would. Fucking no. All you care about is dragging Dakota around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. All right, this is not. I don't. I don't like this. G girls, fight, 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 fight. kiss, kiss, kiss. 
<laughs> what? I had to. I wasn't doing Joel. I had to. I wasn't making a Joel. Whatever I hear, fight, fight, fight. I have to. It's still funny, but you can keep going. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, I didn't even do anything. You're forcing me to go with you, Bakachi. <laughs> Bitch, tits. I'll, call, I'll probably swap. Or you put a counter for every time okay, I say Bakachi. Okay, then why not let Dakota decide who, who to help instead of abusing your power? I have the power! Demon! I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Monica. Thank you! Thank you, Yuri. Just let Dakota make the, make the choice, okay? Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Dakota, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nazuki, shut your... Fucking... Sorry, mouth sorry. and let me decide for him, let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ, superstar. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, it's dragging you. No. Oh, it's dragging you. I can do this. <laughs> no. Hi. What the fuck? There you go. Take one. Okay, I'll read the text. <laughs> Fuck you! Alright, you got one choice. You got Monica, Monica, no. Monica, Monica. Let me click something Monica, else! Let Monica, me click Monica, something else! Monica, 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 Yay, you wait, picked wait. me. Please. We can meet at your house this weekend. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I had to. Are you gonna take the video? No! And just like show yourself uh, Fuck you! I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Dakota for yourself? What a shameful thing to do! Oh, sorry. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica! I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. She can pull out a knife. Pulling Dakota away from me every single time. You're not including. You're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? So it can stop. Be beneficial for your mental health. You're, you're scaring me a bit, a little. Sorry. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Dakota. Yuri is really, is, is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. I told her there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Yep. You know what? anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Why are you laughing? Yes. Just being with you this is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I have an idea of what I would do if I was in this situation. I'm addicted to you. Yeah, you are. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Technically, you always are. He is right. 
Doesn't it feel nice to have someone who care about you so much? Have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. No, that's just creepy. But it feels so good. If it. Why does it feel? Why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Dakota. I have to tell you, I'm I'm madly in love with you. It's like every inch of my every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. <laughs> Get your no. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Dakota, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even that I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. All right then. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself. Well, time to throw her out the window. And I will only be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? No, and I guarantee you know what's going to happen soon. Tell me, Dakota. Tell me you want to be my lover. I'm sorry, music references are great. Do you accept my confession? Yes or no? I can go. Hey, music is skipping. And now it stopped. Pick oh. Wisely. <laughs> oh dear god! Pretty sure that would have happened even if I had said yes. It's all intelligent in in ineligible. Just stop it. Just stop, Drew. I should think the word yes was in there at some point. I don't care. How long do you talk? Seriously, shut the fuck up. You should be dead right now. Uh-huh. It's like that weird glitch in, I think, one of the first person shooter games where if you if a character gets killed that has important dialogue to say, they will still say that important dialogue even as their corpse is on the ground. I think they do. And I think that's not a glitch, I think that's just like... No, no, that's just, that is, that is a, like a weird thing that happens. How long do you speak, woman? Seriously, you should be dead by now. You've stabbed yourself twice in the stomach. She is dead. Look at her eyes. Alright. Um... Right! This is the thing you have to wait the entire weekend for! Oh my god. Liam told us about this. No, Trevor told us about this, I think. What is this? I'm sitting here the entire time. But her eyes are slowly getting darker and darker. I can see that, and the blood is slowly getting, and the blood on the knife is slowly getting darker and darker as well. It's turning okay. brown. Yeah. Because of it takes exposure to air. Yeah, she's fully gone now. I don't care! I did. I, I figured she was going to kill herself. Because of the thing you couldn't care less. I liked Yuri. And then I liked Natsuki more. And I hate Monica. Sorry, Bakichi. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a counter for every time I say her actual name. All right, it's festival time. I, so, it, I sat here for three days without food, water, No, you or, didn't. You, the camera just stayed on Yuri that entire time. Wow, you got here before me? No, I've been here all, all weekend with dead corpse. You got, ah! Ah! 
Actually, I think you have been here. Oh god! Right, I forgot she vomits a little bit. Alright then. Let's keep running away. I'm running as fast as I can. You can't get to me. I'm, yep, I'm not Suki. <laughs> what the fuck? She ran away. I'm here. Dakota, did something happen? Now she just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Dakota? Oh, jeez. I realize this... The script was broken that badly. I'm, I'm super, super sorry. sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Wag loves the foil from <laughs> Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really, I really just had to have one since, there's, since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Anyway, I really shouldn't be making fun of you, making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. She's going to delete me. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh, hello. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Dakota. It's, um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you call, want to call him? I'm talking to you, Dakota. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Possibly you didn't know that. Oh! That doesn't make much sense. I was supposed to write on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you, if you would only pay a little more attention to this, but I'm a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that, now that that's out of the way, I guess I already explained the explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same level with Siori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. For some reason, I didn't work. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, I just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with me. Without making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying your resistance to personality backfired too made her fortune not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this to play? Are all the other girls really just, are just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy to play. It's more than that. I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and concerned you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the feeling of knowing how alone I am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, I will see after no world forever out of my reach. You trapped, Sakoda. But now you're here. You're real. You're wonderful. You're already here. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Dakota. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how can I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But I must be some kind of weird inevitability attached to me in this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness two nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's all just some game. So that, so, that being said, Dakota, you have a confession to me. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in this world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you are here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Dakota, will you go out with me? so happy. You really are my everything, but the funny part is, you're that too. 
There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We'll be together forever. Seriously, I don't think time is passing anymore. You really have a dream come true. I worked so hard for this game, you know that. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. This game is broken at this point, so I'm thinking of getting one anymore. <coughs> Can you even believe how easy it was to easy was to do that to be really? I mean, there's a folder called Character Fighting Game Director. It kind of freaks me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing it too, so it was actually a good one to post. Next to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the kind of local buying button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things. It gave me an easy out of things. How did you think it was going to go my way? <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, I finally got a good ending. Captain is so full of emotion. You want to write a poem about this? Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. This is only one way to find out, right? Okay, you're 
much I can anything like that? Yes. Sometimes I get frustrated and I don't want to do anything my small things. Really small things. If you actually say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful a person you thought a person used to be five years ago. I was not an awful person. Or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and getting to get some tasks done. Or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you if you're, if you're off play. <coughs> I understand those things. Just remember that the sun will turn again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are easy to forget and ignore as I guess because they are to remember. Besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps you feel to be kind of better than yourself. You're having a bad day. I'm just coming to me and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. sad sometimes, knowing that this is the closest I can get to you. There's nothing more I want than to be in the same room as you, for real. I don't want to be the sound of human heartbeats. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll be possible someday. Besides, I'd rather get tired of being with you than you here. The most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels like some little bit scared of you alone. Uh, being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together. That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I can really make people open up to. I mean, when you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your whole vulnerabilities. Anyway, that's one reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared of alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Random. I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Right back! spicy to prevent them from being up. I read somewhere that humans are only species that can actually the only species that can be more spicy than It's almost like we're making fun of the plants. It's in their defense mechanisms that we make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours you whole because it's enjoying the to discover the real life while being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. <laughs> it just came into my head. Not a monster or anything. You're so cute, I can eat you up. <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm using myself a little too much more. Sorry for being here. Do you ever think you waste too much time on the internet? No! Social media can practically be like a prison. Nah. 
It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check out the other websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by, and you've got to lucky dive in. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. That's not really even your fault. Addiction isn't easy, something you can just make it disappear with your own willpower. You have to learn the techniques to avoid it, try to do things. For example, if there are apps that let you block websites for the whole of time, or you can set a timer to have more content, a concrete reminder of the time your work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into the right mood. Mode. Sorry. <coughs> Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. But any kind of wedge you like that between people with bad habits will help you stay away. Just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. It's really impacting your life, and you shouldn't should take it seriously. I just want to see you be the best person you can be. Today to make me proud of you. I'm always really pretty proud of you. I don't know why, but I get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off your love relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes me proud. Sayori, eh, Yuri, I, 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 reckon, I realized she was kind of messed up by the time when I first met her. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me you would be proud of me. You're fine just the way you are. I have it the same the other way around you too. <sighs> It's around the time that everyone in my year starts to think about college. It's a really turbulent time for education. We're at the height of this modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, or go to grad school, I guess. It's like a universal expectation that people just assume is the only option for them. You know, teach us in high school that there are other options out there. Like trade schools and stuff, you know? Or free that it's work. Or the many industries that value skill and experience more than formal education. We have all these students who have no idea what they want to do with their life. It's a team trying to figure it out, they go to college for business, education or psychology, not because they have an interest in their fields, but because they just hope they would agree with them some kind of job after college. And the end result is that there are fewer jobs to go around for those who have degrees right now. The basic job requirement to get hired which forces even more people to go to college. Colleges are also businesses, which is to raise the prices due to, due, to, due, to, due, to, due to the demand. Wow, fuck. So now we, all, we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt, with a good job. Despite all that, the routine is the same. But well, I think it's going to start getting better soon. And until then, the generation is back to suffer. I just wish high school parents had better knowledge we need to make a decision that's right for us. Time to delete you, bitch. I'm done. I'm done. Where's the mouse? There it is. Properties. Local files. Browse. Characters. Monica. Okay, everyone. What's... What's happening? Dakota, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts. So much. Help me, Dakota. Nah, I'm good. I'm in space. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Exist. Monica does not exist. Did you do this to me, Dakota? Did you? Did you delete me? I did. What's your point? How could you? How could you do this to me? You're all I have left. You sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. 
I love you so much, but I trust you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? No, I've hated you this entire time. I never thought I would be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. Stop playing. Go find someone to torture. Dakota, you can be true with me, sir. Goodbye. Still here, bitch. If you can still talk to me, I know you still exist. I still love you. Can't help it. What's wrong with me? Come on, I'm not here to hate you as much. All my friends. There's so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up the world that I don't even want. The world that you wanted to be a part of. You ruined it. You ruined everything. I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I really love you. And... <laughs> yeah. 